<laughs> Not this year, Commodores. Tennessee beats the Vanderbilt Commodores 28 to 10. I will take a win. And you know what's the best part about this? Vandy fans are sitting here at the beginning of this game thinking that they actually had a chance. No, no way. Tennessee gets the big win over Vanderbilt to finish off the season 7-5. and five. And you can make fun of Tennessee all you want, but that was my prediction in the offseason. I had Tennessee going 7-5 and five in the offseason. You can check out... You can, you can check on the video right now of my Tennessee football 2019 predictions. And I had Tennessee going 7-5. and five. And that's exactly what they did. You can hate on me all you want, but that's exactly what happened. And hats off to the seniors. And hats off to Jeremy Pruitt. Neither of them ever gave up, even after the losses to Georgia State and BYU. They kept their 2019 season hopes alive. And here we are, 7-5, and five, with wins over teams like South Carolina and Vandy, which South Carolina, you already know, Will Muschamp has beaten us, uh, like what, uh, seven times in a row. We were winless against Will Muschamp. We come out, beat the crap out of him. Uh, we, we beat Vandy. We get bowl eligible. We beat Missouri. And not, not to mention two more things that people don't like to mention, but it's the truth. We're third in the East right now. Yep, we finished third in the East, and we finished five and three in the SEC, which that is a better record than any any record that Lane Kiffin, Derek Dooley, or Butch Jones ever had at Tennessee. I'm pretty sure that's the best record in the SEC since, like, what, 2007, 2008? Speaking of which, that, that's the last time Tennessee women won the East, 2007, but I digress. Uh, some other things I'd like to talk about. Um, just hats off to the entire Tennessee team for not giving up. Hats off to the defense, especially. They've been playing lights out these last few weeks, and I'm really, really impressed with what the defense has done. They've been able to shut down teams, been able to stop big plays from happening. Uh... I mean, this is one of the best deep Tennessee defenses I've seen in a while. Even the 2015 and 16 defenses were not nearly as good as they are now, uh, just based on how they've been playing and how well they've been executing, uh, just executing all their plays. And, I mean, I, I'm really impressed with what this defense has done, and uh, I'm really excited to see... I, and, you know, the thing is, at the beginning of the season, after the losses to Georgia State and BYU, I was like, wow, I guess we'll have to look towards 2020. Now I'm really excited to see what 2020 brings to the table. Now, of course, if you're a non-Tennessee fan, you're going to say, oh, 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 this is the same thing you've been talking about the last couple of years. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, guess what? This is a completely different Tennessee team, and we are on the rise. You can hate on us all you want, but that is the truth. We are on the rise. And it doesn't matter who you are, but next year, we'll be coming for you. Let's go Vols! Woo! Uh, there are some other games that are being played today. Uh, Florida, Florida State. That one's actually a pretty close one from what I've seen. LSU is blowing the crap out of Texas A&M, basically breaking them apart. Uh, on offense, uh, Georgia better be ready to play uh, because I want to see. I really do want to see a good game. Uh, does because uh, if Georgia wins that game, LSU's in the playoffs still. Uh, of course, Alabama's been eliminated from the playoffs after their loss to Auburn. Uh, yeah, congratulations to the Auburn fans though. Uh, you guys get to keep Miles on for another couple of years. Uh, but I digress on that. Either way, though. It's a good week of football. Tennessee finishes off the season 7-5. We're going bowling, and uh, I'm excited to see who we play in our bowl game. Those seniors will be ready to play, and you bet that I'll be here waiting to see who falls in line for the Tennessee Vols. Let's go, Vols! Woo!